What's good, Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome to your reading. Let's check out your next 30 days. Uh, what can you expect for the next 30 days from when you watch this reading? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? I had a whole deck in reverse. All right, so let's see. Six of Wands. Two of Wands. Tell me. Thank you. Oh, so I wanted to show it up in reverse. Queen of Swords in reverse. Give me some more cards to give more. The Magician, the High Priestess in reverse. Oh, thank you. All right, we're going to take those. So the Six of Pentacles is the background energy. So they're basically telling me that your energy imbalance. Your energy imbalance. So the next 30 days, I see you focusing on trying to balance your energy, stabilize your energy. Um, you guys are trying to get it together so that you can have obvious upgrades in your life. Some of you guys could actually be trying to move. Okay, maybe you live on the coast. Maybe you're wanting to move into the hills. Some of you could live in the hills. Maybe you're trying to move into the coast. Some of you guys could live in a city area, vice versa. I see some of you guys are trying to upgrade it so that you can um, economically, you can afford to move somewhere. You can travel somewhere else. You can go elsewhere. Mm -hmm. But it's like the Queen of Swords in reverse is telling me that you guys are not open-minded. So here's what, I, what I'm feeling. You have, the, you have a lofty vision. You have, a, you have a big ambition, right? And you may dream of having this thing. However, your mind is kind of shutting down. To, like it's, it's kind of... Your mind is in a pessimistic state is what I'm trying to say. So it's like in a state where it's like, oh... Like, maybe you're dreaming too big and, you know, this kind of feel like you want a certain thing with a two of wands. Like, you want a certain thing, but you're not really putting in any energy or you're just being very half-assed about it. That's what it feels like. I feel like you're being half-assed about something that you want to thrive in, you want to have, you want to be successful with but you're being half-assed about it or you're not even trying because you don't feel confident enough or you don't have strong beliefs that you can actually have this thing. So what they're saying is that you must be audacious enough to go after what you dream for and they said that you must continue to dream big because they said that you actually you are a manifester but you're not aligned with your gift right now and that's why it seems as if you're not going to get it. But the truth is... You're, mis you're not aligning with your gifts, which is preventing you from manifesting your ideal outcome. So what happened now with the Knight of Wands in reverse is that it leads to you feeling demotivated and stuck in this state of lack, which is like, baby, six of swords. It's like you're going in a cycle. So it's like one minute you want this thing and you want it and you want it and then boom, you don't get it. And then, you, you know, you go down this spiral where you're like, you stop believing in yourself. So maybe you feel optimistic, maybe you listen to a reading, maybe you listen to a video, a blog, something, music, and you feel hyped about manifesting that thing, and you can feel like you can conquer the world, and then it drops down when you feel like, oh, you know, get the thing, you go down a spiral, you feel demotivated, you go back in a state of lack, or something happens in your reality where it makes you shift away from desiring your specific reality, and it's like, you're going in a spiral. So what I want you to try to do this, the next 30 days, is to try to break that spiral. Try to break out of it. Because it's not hard enough. It's not hard. The only major arcana that you see here is the magician and the high priestess. The hardest part about it is maintaining a specific spiritual discipline or um, emotional discipline. And there's something that you need to change on a cellular level. So I would say that it's beyond just your mindset, but having an understanding of something. 
have an, an, an understanding of who you are on a cellular level and how powerful and profound you are getting accustomed to that idea so it's not just about shifting your mentality it's getting accustomed to the idea idea that you actually are something that you currently are not really believing that you are or even comprehending that you are okay basically you're so freaking profound that you you don't get it basically you don't get it like you're profound and it's like it's this truck and it's like this big big truck and you put somebody we don't know how to drive in it so it's like the thing is everybody knows how to do a certain thing they just need to go to the right spiritual tutor to activate to activate the instructions within them okay or to teach them the right instructions to ingrain in them the right instructions. So it's either you are going to do your meditation and tap into your own divine instructions or meet meet a spiritual teacher who's going to activate that within you or they're going to ingrain with you, within you, you know, your spiritual conduct, your code of conduct. Because there's a code of conduct that you need to abide by. Everybody has a code to, to, um, to abide by, okay? that is compatible with their spirit that that is responsible for them flourishing in certain areas of their life so there's a certain set of divine instructions or whoever you believe in or whatever universal instructions that you specific you in specific is to align yourself with and when you're when you align with that you'll find that you'll have more com compatible experiences and you will find that you'll have more fortunate outcomes. So there's like a fundamental understanding that you need to grasp about who you are on a cellular level. And once you grasp that, you'll have better experiences and you meet better people and you go different places. So it's like, you're very powerful, you know, you get what I'm saying? But with a, with a high priestess in reverse, which is you, that's your card. That's a high priestess is either Cancer or Pisces, both, right? So it's like, um, She's in reverse because she's misaligned. She's not really getting the bigger picture. She's not understanding so, because there's ignorance here. And that's the five of pentacles. You are focusing um, on the wrong things. So it's like there's something that about this that once you... Let me see who's the best person that you can listen to. Mm, Neville Goddard. Neville Goddard. Very good, he, Neville Goddard and um, Alan Watts. Yeah, a combination of those two. You can listen to them, but Neville Goddard. It's especially. I hope I pronounced his name properly. But you guys, actually, you're very, your genius is at manifesting. You know, but here what happened? The way that you manifest is based on an emotional, is an emotional thing experience for you. You is fe feeling is the thing for you. Not everybody can feel and manifest. Some people just think about it and boop. Some people just talk about it and boop. Some people write about it and boop. Some people burn it on paper, boop. Burn a candle, boop. So your way is feeling. Mm. You feel. You feel that energy. But because you guys probably, you're, you're emotionally repressed or spiritually repressed or both. You can't really tap into it. But there's something that you're not understanding about yourself, right? I hope... The reading so far has kind of helped you to understand what it is. Because I feel like by now you guys will probably get it. Um, what is that you're going to realize for the next 30 days? What's coming in for the next 30 days? For Cancer. Six of Cups. Oh, your spiritual teacher could be someone who's a part of your soul family. Or someone that you haven't seen in a long time. So they could be saying, uh, what is this? The Knight of Cups is in reverse. The Hierophant is in upright. The Six of Cups is in upright. The Seven of Wands. Ah, I get it. There's someone who's going to reappear in your life and it's going to trigger like an aha moment for you. Because you're going to realize that, no, you don't want that person in your life or you don't want something that they're offering to you. Because I'm hearing rejected. So either you're going to reject someone or you're going to reject something. And it's gonna make you realize that oh, you is you're gonna real you're gonna listen to some kind of inner guidance. Get what I'm saying? Yeah, because it's gonna be triggered by someone of your past or someone that you know right now around you. 
or someone who is a part of your soul family, but it's going to trigger you. And when your back is against the wall, you're going to have an aha moment and you're going to realize what your divine calling is or how it is that you're supposed to manifest. You're going to, you're going to get it. You're going to get the law. You're going to understand it. You're going to grasp it. Yeah, so anything else? And then we can shut this out with an Archangel Michael card. For Cancer Summarize and then Venus. Okay, Ten of Cups. You're going to have emotional fulfillment. And you're going to be successful. Queen of Wands. So you're going to successfully... Yeah, you're going to be on top of your game, basically. So you're going to get it. And it's going to lead to emotional fulfillment. And that's the thing. Emotional fulfillment. You guys could be trying to manifest a specific person. Or... Um, a very like a new home okay something whatever it is it's going to bring you emotional fulfillment and peace but i say you're going to be on top of your shit in the next 30 days and the nine of swords in reverse which is telling me that you're going to drop off all those mental blocks and baggages baggage that was oppressing you or that was that was that was maintaining that ignorance or preventing you from seeing something you're going to let go off of that mental weight that that load and you're going to be feeling so much freer and lighter in your energy. You guys could be reading a book. You could be listening to documentaries. Or maybe this, this um, thing gave you an aha moment. You're like, oh, wow. So let's see what Archangel Michael has to say. And we can talk about. What does Archangel Michael have to say to you? Oh. He says, detach from the situation. And write about your thoughts and feelings. So you guys could actually have the natural knack to script as you write, you actually manifest. You and your loved ones are safe and positive. Thoughts create positive results. Use your imagination and you'll see the answer and explore your options. Because there's not only one way you can get your manifestations, right? So that's what I have for you, Cancer. Summarizing and Venus signs, wherever it falls in your chart. Thank you so much for being here. Take care. Goodbye.